Scrap has got Michelle Knight and she is from Cape Town. Are we alone? The human race has wandered this for centuries, and you probably have too. And over the years, we've learned the universe is far bigger than anyone possibly imagined. So, in this big universe, are we alone? Well, life, like a good cake, requires some essential ingredients. First, you need a planet, a nice rocky one, not one made of gas. Then, you need to find a star and put your planet at just the right distance away, so it's not too hot or cold. Then you just add water and atmosphere and voila, you have life. Well, not quite, but life has a chance there. So, to find out if we're not alone, we should be looking for planets like Earth. Now, when I was born, the only planets we knew of were in our solar system. Today, we've discovered 861 planets orbiting other stars, and that number keeps growing. But the question is, why did it take so long to find the first planets? You see, stars can make their own light, but planets can only reflect light. So finding a distant planet is a bit like trying to spot a bird flying near the sun. Okay, now you're wondering, if we can't see them, how do we even know they're there? Well, we use a trick. See, the star's gravity tugs on the planet, keeping it in orbit. But the planet also tugs a little back on the star. So, as the planet orbits, you see the star wobbles forwards and backwards. And you might also notice that as the planet goes round, it eclipses the star, making it dimmer. So, if you see a star wobbling or getting fainter and brighter, you know there's probably a planet there. There's just one problem. Space is really huge. And getting a message to an alien would be a bit like, well, imagine you had a friend in Cape Town, but the only way you could communicate with them was with a very dedicated snail. <laughs> now, the next time you can look up at the stars at night, think about this. On average, there's nearly two planets for every single star. That's billions of chances for life to exist. And what's more, just two months ago was the very first discovery of an Earth-like planet. That means in your lifetime, we're starting to find places where life could exist. When you were born, no one knew if there was another Earth out there. By the end of your lifetime, who knows what or who we might have discovered. Thank you very much. Michelle, very, very well done. Yeah. That, that was excellent. Yes. What I particularly enjoyed about your presentation, what I particularly enjoyed about your presentation after seeing you in Cape Town, was that you managed to present or use a very different style of presentation, which I think is it's quite refreshing to see at this afternoon because I, I've often because I've I've seen other I've, I've I've been judging all the other heats I've seen contestants use exactly the same style to communicate their scientific message, which is the first time I actually see a different style. So excellently done for for just that reason. Thank you. Uh, again, congratulations. I think your presentation had depth of content, but clarity in presentation. And I definitely learned something. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.